Oh, not the only one. That's right. All right, back from my trip to what I thought was Kansas City, but in reality, Overland Park is nowhere near, and I'm kind of upset that work lied to me. I think that was just their way to get me to go to Missouri. But on the bright side, I did find this great gym, Stone and Barbell, and I was able to meet up with both Michael Corey and Ryan Padilla, who you guys saw in the intro. If you haven't checked them out already, please be sure to go and subscribe. I will link them in the description box below. Those grips right there, by the way, Big J approved. Also, what you see here is the leaderboard at Stone and Barbell and the weight classes, and there are some truly strong people here. So this is really intimidating for me, looking at going into my meet and having to compete with potentially some of those numbers. Real eye-opening experience. They have a lot of other great things here, like a monolift, a bunch of bands that you see, a bunch of different types of bars and specialty bars, from yoke bars to buffalo bars to actual deadlift bars, power bars, Olympic bars, everything you could really want in this gym. And even though it doesn't have a huge footprint, you can see the equipment itself is extremely nice. All competition style. Michael Corey with his new 70D Canon and Sigma lens. There you see some of the bars as well. You have calibrated Olympic bumper plates, which are really fun to use, although my math skills are not very good. You guys will see that in the next video I put up with Deadlift Day when I gave those plates a go. A deadlift jack, which is nice. You see a couple of squat racks and full cages as well. People squatting. Uh, when we got in there, there are also people doing some Olympic lifts, which are really easy to do. With a lot of the equipment they have here, they have some kegs, which again, you'll see in a second. Unfortunately, these kegs were already empty, so no beer in it. There's a rogue rack on the side, some heavy ass tires. There's a log. There's really everything you can need as well as some actual Atlas stones here as well. So very highly recommend this gym if you're in the area. So my bench day today as part of the peaking cycle, four sets of three at 90%, which ends up being 305 pounds, followed by four sets of three at 80%, close grip, so 275 pounds. And overall, I wasn't really happy with how the day went at first, only because I would have really liked the weight to move faster and felt better in my hands. But when I look at the programming, I really have to realize that doing basically 12 reps at 90% of your one rep max, things probably shouldn't be easy necessarily. So I think I'm okay with that. In fact, one could probably say I'm proud, but never satisfied. Yeah, I think that's a good saying. I might put that on a shirt actually. But all jokes aside, I don't know if you actually were able to tell from the intro, because I know I did a bunch of jump cuts, but Ryan and Michael are both really strong dudes. Ryan hit 315 on bench for 15 reps, so that made me feel really bad about myself. And even Michael was busting out 225 for like 12 to 13 reps, and they both did a ton of overall volume. I just did eight working sets again because I wanted to stick to my plan for this peaking phase. And I know my intensity is up right now, but I really got to cut the volume, so I couldn't do too much. So it was nice just getting a chance to watch them work out and get all sweaty as well as just talk to them because I've been friends with them on YouTube and you know phone calls and text messages for quite some time and never actually got a chance to meet because they live in the middle of the United States and I don't do a lot of traveling there so I was really appreciative that they took the time to drive up and train with me and we got a lot of food in and just had a great time they're both really great guys and again I really highly suggest you check out their channels link below but other than that my training went okay you'll actually see the deadlift training I did the day after which is very interesting but workout took a lot out of me. If you really want to see it, you can follow me in Photocracy. However, you did actually see every single working set I showed here. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big. Set using 90% then dropping it down to around 80%. Now today initially called for a 490 and normally I probably wouldn't